artist is clarinetist Franz Tausch. He's a particularly interesting musician because he had an extremely long career, spanning from the 1760s to the early 19th century, a period during which musical composition and performance changed very rapidly. Tausch was brought up at the court at Mannheim, where his father played clarinet in the orchestra. In fact, the Mannheim Orchestra was one of the first to include clarinets, a fact that Mozart found when he visited there in the 1770s. Franz learned the clarinet from his father and is known to have first performed at court at the age of just eight years old. In order to put Tausch's early life into context, we've chosen to include on our CD music by the composer Johann Stamitz, who's seen as the father of the Mannheim School of Composition and was involved in the foundation of the orchestra. Franz Tausch later established himself in Berlin, where he was known not only as a leading clarinet player, but also as a teacher. Courts from around Europe sent their most promising clarinetists to study with him, and one of the first was the young Bernhard Henrik Krusell, a Finnish-Swedish player who was sent from the court in Stockholm. When he returned to Stockholm, Prussell became famous as a virtuoso and as a composer. His concert trio brings together what we think are probably well-known opera tunes of the time, although we haven't been able to identify any yet. But it does show how much music changed during Tausch's lifetime. He uses much more dramatic harmonies and pushes the instrument to much more extremes of technique than the earlier pieces on the disc. of Boxwood and Brass's work is to commission new arrangements for harmony ensemble, which are created by our bassoonist Robert Percival. With this disc, we took the opportunity to ask for an arrangement of a piece by Heinrich Behrmann, who is Tausch's most famous student. In fact, the piece is probably Behrmann's most famous composition, simply called Adagio normally. For a long time, it was attributed to a young Richard Wagner. In fact, it's the slow movement from Behrmann's quintet for clarinet and strings. It's heard here in a new version for two clarinets, two horns and bassoon, using the particularly rich and sonorous timbre of horns crooked in D flat. 